Just a little more, dear. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> See, hon? I told you I could do it. This all-powering neuroatomic protocore in my possession, I will make the world mine! <laughs> Unhand that neuroatomic protocore, Mandar! Who said that? I did! <laughs> Dexter. Hey, now there's an idea. Blast Dexter. Yes. Blast Dexter! Lord, this man dark. That as long as I live, you will never possess the neuroatomic protocol. And I swear, Dexter, for as long as I shall live, I will one day possess the Neuratomic Protocore and rule the world! I swear it. Phew. Now that that is taken care of, I can get back to work. Woman, I have no time for you today. Much too much has happened, so I bid you adieu. Goodbye, sister. You know the exit is this way. Goodbye. to destroy the one who saved the future. are gonna threaten me in my lab, even if they are from the future. Futuristic robots prepare to meet your
Now, them robots from their future can destroy this load, genius. But the boy, oh boy! I must be something else for somebody to go through all of this trouble. Boy, oh boy. Dexter! The boy who saved the future! Oh, I can't wait for the future. The future is taking too long. Wait a second. I don't have to wait for the future. I'll just get into my old trusted time machine and zap, boom, pop. I'll get to see how cool I am. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Future, here I come. <laughs> is very peculiar. The lab seems untouched. Yet I have traveled the years into the future. Is there nothing different? <laughs> this is different. Oh, aliens! Hey, what are you non-aliens doing in my laboratory? Your laboratory? This is our rec room. Who are you? What are you doing here? What's your number? I do not have a number. I am Dexter, the one who saved the future. And I live here. No number, huh? Come with me. It is a sad, sad world when the no numbers can just waltz on in onto private property with no trouble at all. I hope you like jail, Mr. No Number. Officer 9412 here. How can I be of assistance? I have here. A no number. We're on our way. Let's get him, boys. Dexter, oh boy, sometimes it is just too easy. Closet? This is supposed to be the front door. Stop where you are and put your hands in the air. Where is the front door? Where is the front door? Wait, I wonder if my old emergency escape route is still here. Where did he go? He's nowhere to be found. I guess I don't live here in the future. My folks must have moved out when the neighborhood started growing. Oh, I love the cool cars. Would you look at that? The future. Clearly, these achievements must be my own. Identify yourself. Dexter, a boy genius. State your number. I have been told I have a no number. Retinal scan. Number 12. Why are you not at your workstation? Workstation? I don't work. I'm a boy. Must return to workstation. How can I return to a workstation I have never even been to? That is right. My future self! Well, Mr. Robot, it looks like though you're taking me exactly where I want to go. To the heart of the city, Robot, where my laboratory in the sky awaits. I love the future. Good morning, number 12. Welcome to work. Uh, 
I just made it. Wow, I could have been in big, big trouble. Number 12? <laughs> yes, sir. You were almost late this morning. But, 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 Report to my office immediately. <laughs> You're expected. again. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Such a pity. There are two types of people in this world, number 12. There are those who struggle to support their families. Scratching and scraping for any little morsel of food oh, they can find. Then there's the strong, the powerful, the elite, with luxuries that others can't possibly dream of. But you, number 12, I neither. Hey, hey, hey! What do you think you're doing? This is not my laboratory in this guy. <gasps> Mentor. Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse the interruption. I invite you to join me to the public flogging of number 12. For once again, he was almost late for work. And so, number 12, before we get started, do you have anything to say for yourself? Could I have some padding? No. Now make a wish. Number 12? Again! Number 12? Again! No, 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 number 12. <laughs> That's me. This time has been duly noted and will be deducted from your salary. Thank you. hear any typing down there, number 12. Grant, get out of my chair. I've got to get back on schedule. Man, how do you let the doofus of Man Barka push you around? I don't know what you're talking about. Please leave. Just out of curiosity, did you become a wimp overnight, or was it a gradual process? Oh, I've always been like this. Wrong! I have yet to be beaten by that oversized head of a man, but you, you cower at the sound of his voice. Typing! See? You really have ruined everything I have worked for having to you. I don't know who you are, but please leave. You don't know who I am? You don't know who I am? I travel through space and time to see you, and you can't even recognize your own flesh and blood? What? Yes, I am you. But it can't be. Can it? Typing! I'm sorry, I wish I could talk, but I'm very, very busy. What possibly could you do here that is more important than talking to yourself? I hope you know that what I do here is very important. I design these cubicles. 
I cannot believe this. Robots from the future come back in time to destroy me because I saved the future. And then I travel in time to see how cool I am saving the future. And here I find you. A pitiful excuse of a texter. <sighs> The Neuroatomic Protocol? Hello, what are these? Designed to utilize Neuroatomics? An unlimited power producing a pylon? Teletronic matter manipulation? Centralized Neuroatomic information distribution? These ideas are incredible! No, no, those are nothing. You should see the new cubicle design I did. Ten by ten. Yeah, so I increased the cubicle space by one foot. Are you crazy? These plants can revolutionize the future. You are a real Dexter after all. Stop the typing. Stop the typing. Stop the typing! You are not a worker drone, my friend. You are not just a number. You are a genius! And you have got a name. What is your name? Twelve. No! What is your name? Twelve. No! What is your name? Yes! Yes! Dexter? Again! Dexter? Again! Dexter! Yes! Dexter is the name of a lion, the tiger up there! Oh my! Now let's get the heck into the future and see how cool we are! My lab is back to its original order. Mm -mm, that is strange. I forgot how much I hate time travel. It seems that we're surrounded by a very large pain. I'll say. Nothing left of me. 
and our Gabbat is lame brain. I heard that. Uh -huh, lame brain, not pretty funny. <laughs> What it was that meant our grunt is head over. Oh, I heard that too. Oh, I'm warning you. What are you going to do? Think something bad? Why, you? Come here and I'll teach you a lesson. You'll see I'll get back on my feet and destroy you yet, Dexter. <clears throat> what is all the ruckus in here? Who is causing all this? Oh, my gracious. Oh, 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 who could have done this? Who would want to destroy the homage to our all-knowing and omnipotent leader, Dextor? I would. Oh, my gracious, it's you. It's both of you. All hail the great and powerful Dexters. Prove at the last. Young Ned, cease this exaltation at once and fetch us your most elegant coach. We require passage to see our future self, the great and the powerful Dexter. Yes, yes, Your Grace. Of course, right away. Thought transference commencing in three, two, one. Amazing! What is this? It's a teletronically manifested bubble transport. Teletronically manifested? Yes, one merely has to think of something and poof, the matter is teletronically manifested. Where does this new science come from? Why, you, of course. That is, the future you. See, I told you your ideas were genius. Dexter's past. Welcome to your future. Welcome to Dextopia. Thanks to your marvelous invention of the Neurotomic Protocore, all of your knowledge of science and technology is dispersed freely from your brain and into the brains of every inhabitant wearing the transference receptor, in turn causing universal wisdom, peace, and harmony. See, I told you! We're here! Centralized Neurotomic Information and Power Distribution Pylon. Oh, isn't it fab? Well, this is as far as I go. The great one isn't for the likes of my lonely eyes. <laughs> Good luck. It is just like in the blueprints. And yeah, the Neurotomic Protocol is at the heart of it all. And the we must be at the top of running the whole show. <laughs> I did not think it could happen, but I am more of a genius than I already am. Shall we? Who dares to start the great and powerful Dead Star? Whilst they drop its science upon the world. We are the Dead Stars of the past. We have come from the past to find out how we save the future. Your own. A world in need of a hero. Yes. 
And there is only one man to do the job. Yes. One man smart enough. Yes. One man with the strength, the technology, the rugged good looks. And that man is... Yes, 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 us! Clearly, there is only one thing left to do. We must again travel in time, back to the very time of our triumph, back to see firsthand just how cool we really are! Yes! Uh -oh. oh, boy, oh, boy! I can hardly wait to see how cool I was! Come on, hurry up! Time's a wasted! Let's go! This is going to be great! He's not coming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't you oh think boy. you could move a bit faster? Think? I think I can. Here we go. Okay, all right, almost there. I got it now. I'm in. I'm in. Thanks, Billy. Now some of us are still on the ball. <laughs> Dear Grams, Penthouse, Chop Chop! Elevator up! Sergeant Small, underwear, underwear, not here! <gasps> oh, what happened to the world this time? Oh, looks like a bomb. Does any of this ring a bell with you? Ding dong! Nope! Hey, people! Let's check it out! Turbo! <laughs> Come on, now let's see if any of these villagers can tell us what is going on! Pardon me, my good man. But what does thou know where, and more importantly, when we are today? Anyone? <laughs> Good gravy! Has everyone around there lost their minds? Try to make fire come out of wood. <sighs> okay, step back, watch closely.
what would be cool in the future? Did you see those moves? That ring. That the brawn? That beer. Uh, those. <laughs> hey, yeah. What, what happened? happened? <laughs> Dexter, 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 Bexters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we traveled forward in the time, because I heard I... I mean, we saved the future, but they couldn't remember, so then we went back in time to find you, and we did! And it was awesome! Time travel, hmm. You boys will need to be filled in on a few things. Yeah, like what happened to the world. And who is this science-hardened overlord? Mandark. Mandark! <laughs> Many moons ago, Mandark and I were employed by the corporation as research scientists to develop new technologies for the betterment of the future. So naturally, as my genius produced a fountain of amazing ideas, a not-so-inspired Mandark grew more and more jealous. He began stealing my creations and presenting them as his own, as you may well remember. He soon gained favor with the executive hierarchy and was quickly promoted up through their ranks. And with one diabolical coup, Mandar overthrew and became the very president of the corporation himself. Then, darkness fired. Somehow my most prized invention, the new atomic protocol, fell into Mandar's clutches. Oh my gosh, we left the core out in my cubicle. Mandar tried to employ the powers of the core, but the incompetent fool set their positive flow to negative. The now corrupted energies of the core began to twist Mandar's already crooked mind, making him even more greedy and sane than in ever before. I could take it no more. To escape the perversion of my own science, I went underground, literally. I dug a tunnel out from Mandark's tower. For years, I dug and dug, inching my way to freedom. But while I dug, the negative neuroatomic energy swept the world, numbing the minds of the people, allowing Mandark to work his evil tentacles into every facet of technology and society. It was as though he just reached down and raked the earth clean, hoarding all science, all knowledge for himself. When I emerged, I found this world broken and stupid. I did what I could to help, but with the Overlord's robots enforcing terror across the land, and very few resources at my disposal, it's been a fight just to survive. Ah, oh, buck up, hero. We found the lab and we can all help. The laboratory? I had thought it lost forever. But with the power of the lab plus the genius of me times four equals the cataclysmic collapse of the Overlord's empire of oppression! Yeah! To the laboratory! like to take this time to pat myself on the back. Gentlemen, here's to another greatest war completed. For tomorrow, we storm the castle. Yeah! Images are on! How can this be? Science is forbidden to all! Only I have the knowledge to construct such a... Unless... Microscan... Magnify! Dexter! With Dexter, Dexter, and Dexter! This can't be possible! 
It seems my old nemesis has not only mysteriously resurfaced, but has also found a way to enlist the aid of himself from other time. No matter. Let them come. I have a few surprises of my own. <laughs> Castle is just over the next bridge. This is it, Daxters. We're going in. The reunion, but... Reunion, schmunion, I want my neuroatomic protocol, you gluttonous old hack!
to be the one who saved the future. Arr, that girl! I'll teach her to mess up my future savings. Yeah, I will show her. Oh, that little ding dong. We'll get her once and for all. Robots destroyed the one who saved the future. <laughs> That's 
should take care of Didi. It looks like the future is back on track. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do, but with the positive flow of the core, everything should work out fine. Well, then, we should be getting back to our own times. Goodbye, Dexter. 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 Goodbye, Billy. Well, that wasn't exactly what I expected, but I did turn out pretty cool. In the future. Wait a minute. I'm still here fighting those robots, but wait, those are the robots I just built to get Didi, or we'll build in the future, but now I'm about to destroy them before I even decide to go into the future, so that means when I came back, I came back too far back before I ever left, so I must have come nine, or they were, oh, forget it, time travel hurts on my brain. Thank you.